Welcome back to the Ancestral Findings Podcast. Have you ever wondered why the Ides of March carry such a mysterious aura? Join me on a journey through time as we unravel the stories and secrets behind this infamous date. It's history like you've never heard it before. Watch out for March 15th. This warning, echoing through centuries, stirs a mix of curiosity and unease. But why do we pause to consider this particular day with such a wary eye? Is it merely the stuff of legends and ancient history? Or does March 15th hold more profound significance? Indeed, the Ides of March, especially noted for Julius Caesar's assassination, marks a day of pivotal historical events and cultural reflections. The journey to understanding the Ides of March begins in ancient Rome, where this date was part of a sophisticated calendar system. The Ides fell in the middle of the month, a time not originally shrouded in doom, but celebrated with religious festivities. The Romans marked time differently, with each month having its calends, knowns, and Ides. The Ides of March, May, July, and October were particularly significant due to their religious associations. This context is crucial. It shows that the ominous reputation of the Ides of March is a relatively modern interpretation, heavily influenced by subsequent historical events. The assassination of Julius Caesar on March 15, 44 BC, is a cornerstone of the Ides' notoriety. This act was not merely the removal of a dictator. It was a catalyst that irrevocably changed the Roman political landscape, leading from the Republic to the Empire. This event underscores the volatility of political power and the lengths to which individuals will go to seize or maintain control. It's a narrative that resonates across ages, reminding us of the thin line between governance and tyranny. William Shakespeare's Julius Caesar immortalized the Ides of March, particularly through the soothsayer's cryptic warning. Shakespeare's dramatization introduced the phrase, Beware the Ides of March, into the lexicon, transforming the day from a mere date on the Roman calendar to a symbol of foreboding. His work exemplifies the power of literature to shape historical perception, illustrating how art and history often intertwine to create lasting cultural narratives. While Caesar's fall is the most famed event linked to the Ides of March, the date has been marked by other significant occurrences. The Samnite Wars, critical to Rome's early expansion, and the abdication of Tsar Nicholas II, which ended the Romanov dynasty and set the stage for the Russian Revolution, are just a couple of examples. These events, though distinct in context and impact, share the Ides of March as a backdrop, suggesting a day historically prone to significant shifts and upheavals. Today, the Ides of March transcends its historical roots, permeating popular culture and consciousness. It serves as a metaphor for the unexpected and a reminder of the impermanence of power. In politics, literature, and even in everyday conversation, the Ides of March invites reflection on themes of betrayal, ambition, and the relentless march of time. As we approach March 15th each year, it's worth pausing to reflect on the layers of history and meaning attached to this day. The Ides of March reminds us of the complexity of human history, the enduring influence of literature on our interpretation of the past, and the timeless nature of certain themes, power, betrayal, and the inevitability of change. In acknowledging the Ides, we connect with a tradition of reflection that spans millennia, inviting us to consider our own place within the ongoing narrative of history. If you're fascinated by the intrigue and drama of ancient Rome, particularly the pivotal event of the Ides of March, then diving into these books will offer you a comprehensive and engaging exploration. The Ides, Caesar's Murder and the War for Rome by Stephen Dando Collins. This book provides an in-depth look at Julius Caesar's assassination and its aftermath, exploring the political and military struggles that ensued. The Death of Caesar the Story of History's Most Famous Assassination, by Barry Strauss. Strauss offers a detailed account of Caesar's assassination, drawing on historical evidence to bring to life the story of this pivotal moment in history. Caesar, Life of a Colossus, by Adrian Goldsworthy. 
Although not focused solely on the Ides of March, this biography of Julius Caesar provides comprehensive coverage of his life, including the events leading up to and following his assassination. The Gates of Rome, a novel of Julius Caesar by Con Igledon. This is the first book in a series of historical novels that fictionalize the life of Julius Caesar, including his rise to power and the events of the Ides of March. Thank you for listening and subscribing to the Ancestral Findings podcast. For additional resources, visit ancestralfindings.com. You can download a free ebook, request a free genealogy lookup, and even participate in our weekly historical postcard giveaway. If you want to support us in more ways, consider supporting us on Patreon or PayPal. Every contribution helps to keep the lights on. From all of us at Ancestral Findings, Thank you for being an integral part of our family history community since 1995. I hope you have a wonderful day, and as always, happy searching.